Hey everybody, Sparhawk OD here. I'm going to talk a little bit about a term that gets thrown around, uh, something called lazy eye. Everybody has heard of lazy eye. Some people have it, some people think they have it. Some, uh, you know, everybody knows some, somebody who, uh, you know, with lazy eye or, or uh, uh, somebody that uh, at least thinks they have it. Um, so what is lazy eye? Uh, I've kind of broken it down into three different things. Uh, they're all similar, but they all are, you know, just, uh, you know, fundamentally a little bit different. Uh, one of them is, um, you'll notice a lot of people, kids, adults, uh, maybe you yourself, uh, if you get tired, you know, at the end of the day, if you've been on the computer a long time, if you've been reading for a long time, maybe one of your eyes will, will drift out. It'll, 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 it'll start pointing this way, or it'll start to cross a little bit. Um, that's, uh, you know, if you're an adult and that does that every once in a while, just just really when you're tired, it's not a really a big problem. If you, if you notice that in a child, it's something to keep an eye on. You know, want, you want to know how often it happens, uh, if it happens all the time, uh, how long it stays that way. If the kid blinks, does this crazy blink, and then it goes straight again. Um, it's one thing to keep an eye on for kids because it could lead into, you know, one of, one of the other forms of lazy eye. Uh, the second form, and this is what you what you want to make sure that, that it doesn't develop into, is for one eye to be pointed one direction. Like if I was looking at you with my left eye and my right eye was you know sticking way out here or, or, or you know uh, uh, crossing a little bit. Um, if it's always like that, if it's always you know moving the same direction but not pointing the same same uh, spot as uh, as, the, as the other eye. That um, uh, it's what we would call a strabismus. Basically, just the one eye, either by a combination of, um, of the nerves controlling the muscles or the muscles themselves, where they're inserted onto the eye, uh, um, is is a little bit wrong. So, if we catch that in kids, it's a good thing to uh, to evaluate to try to uh, you know correct in some way. So in uh, some of those can be corrected with glasses. It, it's it's a it's an issue of focusing the eyes, uh, and sometimes if it's the the nerve control of the eyes or the muscle itself, that then it becomes more of a surgical uh, 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 correction. Um, that one, uh, especially in kids, can lead to the third type, uh, you know, the third description of what we call lazy eye. That is the uh, that is the other term uh, we call amblyopia. That's where if this eye, if my right eye was always turned in and I was, my brain was paying attention to my left eye only, that would mean my right eye is not sending a very good signal back to my brain. Right back in here is where that's all interpreted, where your vision is. And so if it never sends a good signal back to the brain, the brain kind of disconnects. It doesn't pay attention to that and it doesn't develop the ability to interpret the small detail. And so that eye becomes what what we call lazy. So it, it just never sends a you know you never get very good vision with it. Now, up until age 10, 11, 12, we can make we can make differences there. If we get both eyes you know pointing in the same direction, if we get them both to have you know equal vision, then we can start to stimulate that the brain into start to interpreting smaller vision, and that's where some you know some big improvements can come, um, you know, pr pretty dramatic over over uh, you know a year's time. Sometimes can make a bit big difference. Um, so uh, basically, yeah, there's the three uh, three types of, of lazy eye. You know, the, every once in a while, the one eye will go out or turn in. Uh, then. Basically, the second one, one eye just always is one one direction compared to the other, and then uh, and then the uh, in it, the amber, uh, the amblyopia where the the brain doesn't interpret it. Um, kind of a short description. Uh, there's lots of lots of different ways of treating things like this. Um, uh, be happy to answer questions uh, if you do have any, but um, uh, don't want to make this too long. So. Uh, I hope that gives you a little bit of, bit of more information about what people call lazy eye.